YouTube and welcome to lesson 27 of the Microsoft PowerPoint tutorial series and today we're going to look at how to work with Excel tables inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So over here I have my Excel table as you can see which consists of symbol number, name and ID. So simply if I want to paste it over here, uh, I can actually just go to Excel seat right here. I can copy this out, I can press Ctrl C and then over here I can press Ctrl V. So what that does is it'll, it'll copy uh, the Excel uh, sheet over here. So it is actually copying it out over here as you can see. And the Excel sheet has been copied just like that. So now I can actually resize this as well. And you can see that the table has been copied. So it copies down uh, the table and its data. And I can actually resize it and format it as, it were, as if it was a PowerPoint made table itself. But there are other ways to actually insert the table data as well. So to do that, I'm going to press Ctrl Z and over here, I'm going to right click and I'll get some paste options over here. And on the paste option, I can use the destination style. That is, it'll use the PowerPoint destination style, which is its default pasting option. And over here, I can keep source formatting. So uh, if I choose that, you can see that the formatting used in Excel uh, sheet is actually used over here. I can paste it as embedded, so if I want to uh, insert an Excel file itself, then I can use it like this, but this will increase the size of the uh, file of the PowerPoint itself. And you can also paste this as a picture or a plain text, as you can see over here. So if I were to paste this as a picture, you can actually resize it out, all right, just like this. And you can see that there are many ways you can actually format this. So I can actually insert picture formats over here as well. So over here, uh, you can just go on to the format section and you can add different options, like different options of picture formatting, just like I would. So you can see that you can create some pretty looking uh, effects over here. But I can also insert this as an Excel file, an embedded Excel file. So I'm going to right click. And if I were to press embed just like this, this is actually an Excel file inside. Let me just delete the text box area over here. And this itself is an Excel file. So if I were to double click on this out over here, you can see that an Excel actually opens up inside my PowerPoint presentation. I can resize this and edit the, um, uh, edit the formulas and everything else just like I would on Excel. So this is actually opening up an Excel document inside my PowerPoint itself. And once I'm done, I'm simply going to double click outside and I can resize it and you can see that everything else is actually there. So I can go over here, I can resize this out just like that to select the portion that I want to sew. So I'm going to resize it just like this. All right, so resize it just like this, drag it out and just double click to actually get out. So you can see that Excel file is embedded right inside of this right here. So now other thing I can do is I can go to insert over here, go to tables, and I can also select Excel spreadsheet right here. And once I do that, Excel spreadsheet directly opens up inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. So you can type in the data that you want, just like that. You can type in the data and then double click outside and it'll actually uh, embed the Excel file for me. So PowerPoint will create an Excel file for me. I can directly add in all the data that I want and then I can embed it like this as well. So that's how you can insert Excel table inside of Microsoft PowerPoint. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.